This show is brought to you today by Despicable Dogs, Benjamin, Dharma Wheelies, Milk Box, Park Man, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. The edited show is missing the international calls that we made on Skype. Unfortunately, we forgot to record most of them, and going through the unedited show to get those calls out would be too much of a hassle and take too much time and effort. The full show is linked in the description of the show on Patreon as well as on immoralhole.com. Mr. Licker. Uh, you got but you got booze. Hello. Oh, you got, you got booze? booze. Yeah, for drinking. Obviously, yes, liquor store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought this, you said you said liquor. I thought this was a le- a lesbian booze store, so I wasn't sure. What? Okay. So okay. Bye. Mr. Laker. You hung you hung up on me and you're gonna regret that. <laughs> I'm very I'm very important and I'm celebrating Easter because it's on Sunday. I I'm know where you're from Papa, no? Hey asshole, you wanna be my Easter bunny? No, your mom is over here, she's asking about you. You wanna come hop on in? No, I'm asking your mom to get off her knees. She's not getting up. Well, she had bad knees. She had replacement surgery. <laughs> oh. Why? Why are you laughing about about my mother? Hey, tomorrow I'm giving away free tacos. I'm bringing the taco man here. You coming? What do you mean tacos? What do you mean? Free taco stand outside of Mr. Liquor, man. Customer Appreciation Day. You should stop by. Uh, who who is getting lectured? No, no, free tacos at Mr. Liquor. No, I'm not Mexican, no. You don't have to be Mexican for everybody. I should prefer if you're white. In, I ate tacos one time and they told me it was cultural appropriation. Are you a culture vulture? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey, bad guy. What My is mom is- what, what is her, hey, what does her labia look like? No, She's nice. She's got a nice round butt. No, lab- labia, you asshole. Oh, Libya? I'm not, I don't know. I mean, Libya is probably nice. What's up, what? No, you're a, you're a ignorant. <laughs> you fucking dumb. Mama rebuttal Travis. too. Travis. Look around, lad. This is Travis. How can I help you? <laughs> Travis, Travis, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry, I dropped my phone. <laughs> no worries. Right, how are you doing today? Too bad. I'm, I almost uh, oh, I almost spilled my. Uh, I was making. I'm making tincture, you know, and I, I have some left over, and I almost spilled it. But uh, I'm Uh-oh. hoping you'll be able to help me out. Uh, yeah, are you not, looking like, for you know, high proof like alcohol? Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, Everclear, and I have something that I personally use that's a little bit cheaper and better, honestly. Oh. Yeah, so it's, what do it's you the make? same percentage, so I, I make uh, distillates and stuff as well. Ah, do you, like, you know, get get high? Yeah, yeah, I grew up my own, actually. Oh, oh damn, you're cool. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you when you come in if you want. But, uh, yeah, oh. uh, I have uh, I have all the stuff you need for that high-proof ethanol. Are you uh, are you seeing anybody right now? <laughs> no, nope, just my customers. I thought you were going to say just your cousin. That got me worried. No. no, maybe if I was, like, from Alabama or something like that, but <laughs> Florida. <laughs> you but, sound uh, yeah, like you, you got a good... By- you sound like you got a green thumb and a green dick. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Well, the plant leaves, or I'm going to put the resins all over my arms. 
Yeah, it's very good for topical relief, especially if it has, like, um, if you're using the leaves, it'll have a good amount of CBD in it. We can rub it on each other. Right over there on the top shelf. Uh, yeah. Uh, no smaller pints of the Casamigos. Yeah, so I actually have that. Is it okay if I go ahead and get off the line? I actually have a customer that needs some help. Okay, I understand. Do you have a meth lab? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Okay, I got to go. All right. I'm, all right, Bye-bye. I love you. <laughs> Please say it. you love me back. Hello, Ilika? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Hello, Ilika? How high? Yes. Hello? Is that the name of... Is it called How High? I'm trying what to find it, it on Google. What's it's the name of the place you I work? Liquor. I lick her. I lick her. I lick her? I lick her. Lick her. I L I C K E R. I lick her. Yeah, liquor. Like alcohol. Liquor. Oh. Is that a riff on like Apple devices like iPhone? I lick no, her. No, I no, beer. No, we don't sell that. No, no, I we queer. only sell beer. Mm-hmm. We sell beers here. We sell beer, alcohol, those stuff. We don't sell phones. Oh, because when I go to the Apple store, it's uh, like the walls are stainless steel and it makes me want to pee on them. I, it just looks sell. like a big bathroom to me. Thank you for calling Speakies. Look at this. John, how I help you? Yeah, I have a question. Um, yeah. What kind of, like, what's the highest proof alcohol you carry? Uh, we have the 99 uh, shots. Those are what? Mm-hmm. 99 proof. Uh, we have uh, oh, this one Hello? called Old Grand. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yes, we have this. We have this one called uh, Old Granddad. It is 114 proof. Yeah, and that, that one's going to make me see God? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. You know I'm saying? I'm trying to get rid of it tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm like, this one's a strong sorry, one. Okay, yeah. Um. So, if, if, if I didn't need, you know, let's say... uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say, you know, me and my girl are kind of going through it and I don't want to, I don't want to wake up in the same bed tonight. That would be the one to choose, right? The, the OGD? Yeah. Is it the bonded? Uh, oh, yeah. no, no, it's the regular. It's the 114. Oh, the 114? Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Hey, you could, you could jumpstart a, a car with that, right? You know, get the, get the battery <laughs> in the cable. Should put you the know. hair on you. How's head? your neck going? Yeah, how's your neck going? Going pretty good. How about, how about me? You crack that bad boy open, you know, wrestle in the parking yeah. lot, see who the better man he is. <laughs> nah, I gotta, I gotta stay working, sir. Well, what time you get off? You wanna, you wanna go see the movie Cocaine Bear? Go, go, you know, like a little O D D, huh? No, no, you just no. Watch I'm good, sir. All right, all right. All right. Well, I'll be there in 20 right. minutes. I'll be playing my Kenny Loggins in my car. I'll come pick up that OGT from you, all right? You save me a bottle of that, and I'll be in there in 20 minutes. All right, you have a good one. Okay. All right, you too. Okay. Hi. I was calling about the item you have for sale. If you could give me a call back at this number, or let me give you the new number. Is, is Hello? What? Hello? Hello? It's oh, hello. That's it, sir. Yes. Who's this? Oh, I'm, my name is Frank. I live around the bend. I was calling about the item you have for sale. I don't have anything for sale. You don't have a long wood desk for sale? Nope. Well, that might have been quite a while ago. My wife actually got rid of that, but that's been quite a while ago. Oh, why is the ass still up, motherfucker? <laughs> well, it's not my fault she got rid of it, but uh, she needed it out of the house. But that's been last spring. 
Well, that's weird because it's on the intro tubes here from today. It's on where? Well, it's on the the radio machine, their website for today. Wow. No, uh, that's not us then. No, no, she got rid of that last spring. But, well, that's uh, weird. Yeah, um, maybe you dialed the wrong number or uh, somebody else listed it, but no, it wouldn't be us. But uh, sorry about that. Oh, Enjoy no, it evening. is entirely my fault. I'm sorry for cussing at you. <laughs> Seriously, I'm very sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry. No, no, no. I've been... Uh, Accidents happen all the day. Up here in North Dakota, we're pretty forgiving. Okay? Oh, I must have dialed the wrong number. I'm sorry. Well, what is the number then? Can you tell me that? Well, it's your number, but I think I appended the wrong area code. Because this is supposed to be Tennessee. <laughs> no, I'm uh, 60 miles from the Canadian border. So you... That's bizarre. That's bizarre. You nope, know, you got the wrong area code because 701 would be North Dakota. But uh, hey, now you have a nice weekend, sir. No problem. Okay? Oh, you too. Don't worry about All it. All right. Have a good night, motherfucker. You bet. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, Mark Cufford here, sir. You were the guy that uh, just cussed at me a few minutes ago on the phone. And You're a fucking yes, coward! <laughs> Who runs this fucking mouth like a bitch? Okay, um, here's here's what happened. No one gives My, a fuck we, what you think. Oh no, I'm I'm trying to explain what happened, sir. Okay. What the fuck are you, bro? Um. No, shut I up. We had trouble. No, we had trouble with our email, and my wife reset the settings today. And believe it or not, it sent out emails that were sent a year ago. That's what happened. I am trying to live and, a and, good life with my fucking girlfriend away from the trauma, but you don't want to let that happen. Okay. All right. Have a good evening. Bye. And another. Ledgers. Hello? Ta- Hello, this is Tabulators. Hello? I'm Tabulators. I'm here to tabulate the ledger. What's that? It's a tabulating machine. We sell it from IBM. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about how I make... Hi. Hello. Hi. I need to get something for April Fool's Day. I need to surprise somebody. What's the best thing to buy to surprise someone? What? I need liquor to surprise someone. Thank you, my friend. What is your sister's favorite drink? Give me two minutes. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Does she like the fruity drinks, or does she just... You know, like the stuff that tastes Hello. like diesel. Hello, may I help you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was just wondering about the drinks and the kind that your sister likes and all that stuff. Uh, whose sister? Um, your sister. She said that she likes the drinks. My sister. Yeah, my sister is your sister, you know. That's what Nunu says. Who said? Nunu. He said, my sister is your sister. Uno. Who's Uno? Not Uno. Uh, Nunu. Nunu. You don't know him? No, I'm not catching it. Like, no. Oh, he's a, he's a owl. You know, he's a... He's a Ulu. Nulu. That could be his new name. No, I don't have any idea. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyways, I want to I wanna get your sister drunk, and he said to uh, call here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay? Why? You don't sound very 
supportive. I don't know it what you're talking. Your talk- brother-in-law. I, I don't know what you're I talking could be your about. Your brother-in-law it. someday. Yeah. I'm not in a good mood. Okay. Oh, sure not. Oh. Okay. What happened? A- anything else? Are you okay? No. Uh, are you are okay? You tra- are you trying to uh, say something about my me and my family? Are you trying to mean? No, some- I would never do that. No, then, I would never do that. So why are you bringing What's my? What's wrong? With- uh, why are you bringing I don't my... know. Why? Huh? Why are you in a bad mood? What happened? Why are you oh, in a bad mood? You... What happened? No, why are you talking about my sister? Because I said my sister is your sister. That's I, I, I don't know. I don't know you, but I, I don't know you, and I think we should end this conversation. What do you think? Okay. No, because you're angry. When you, they say never go to bed angry, you know, we have to... Yeah. We have to resolve this before, yeah. I think uh, this conversation is not going to end right, so I think you should keep down the phone, okay? Yeah. No, this is bad for our relationship. I don't... This is very I don't, bad. Uh, the way you're talking, I'm not happy about it. Okay? You're not? Yeah. But the, the, the therapist said that we should work out our problems. We shouldn't, you know. I, I, I don't have a time right what? now. I'm working right now. I'm getting paid for work over here not to not to talk anything else, okay? And please, do, I'm in right now in a good mood. Please do not spoil my mood, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, Chutia. Bye-bye. I, I, I don't know you? if he was in. Huh? I was Hi, there buddy. Hey, buddy. Which, which one of y'all put a Joe Biden sticker on my car when I went up in there? I know it was you. Oh. Hello? 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 Oh. Are you, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Echo on your... Hello? Oh, you can? Hello? Are we in a 50s suspense film? What's can going on? Little lab. Yeah, can you turn that fucking television off? It's... Hello? 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 What's up? My brother I don't know. Here. I see you. I'm I'm learning how to talk on the phone. How do you do this? Ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Hey. Hey, this is your neighbor, Roy. Oh. Hey, can, can you quit parking your car what? like shit? What the? We're all judging you. Move your car, damn it. It's parked like shit. You're bringing down the property value here. Yeah, your car, man. You're you're making it look like a bunch of hobos live here. You need to quit parking your car like shit. Get you a Honda. (laughs) You need to move that piece of shit. All right? You need to quit parking like shit. Hey, are you talking to that guy with that piece of shit American car? Yeah, he needs to get a Honda. From my CD Honda. Goddamn Americans can't build no car. You gonna move that piece of shit? You move that piece of shit. Yeah, you you better. Bite me. (laughs) Oh, I will. Don't, Don't make me put my teeth in. Yeah. You do that. Yeah, you move that damn car. You're going to move it. I heard he's got two speeds. Slow and stopped. Is that right? America's best value. How may I help you? Hi, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we allowed to blow up balloons in the room? What room are you in? 216, are we allowed to blow the balloons in the room or no? Are you messing with me? 
No, I'm being serious because it's we couldn't do it in the house because it's my boyfriend's 21st birthday, and so he's getting out drunk, and he's gonna come back to the hotel, and um, he's gonna see all these balloons, and it's gonna be funny. Ah, uh, no, then I don't think you should do that. Why? What the heck? Why not? I mean, you're asking me if you should, if you're allowed to, and I just said no, so. Well, fuck you, bro. It's his birthday. I'm going to do it anyway. I was only calling as a common courtesy. You can't tell me what I can and can't do in the room I paid for. The okay. fuck? Kiss my ass, bro. Why don't you fucking blow my balloon? Hello? Hey, we're in the tunnels. Where's Where's the party hole? We're in the tunnel, bro. Party hole. The party hole. What are you guys talking about? The I heard tunnel. You made the hole. What tunnel? The one with the, the one party? the party's at. What party? The oh party God. hole. You know, you like go up and you you put, you put your you put your thing in there and it's party hole. You know when you when you know how you get off work and you scratch that one little hole and then you smell your finger after that hole, motherfucker. The fuck? Thanks for calling, Fair Philly in downtown St. Louis. This is Tanisha speaking. I'm Yasis. Hi, do you know about the big party hole? Come again? The big party hole? I can hardly hear you. Well, if you put the ear phone part of the computer phone to your ear, can you hear me now? Yes, I can't hear you now. What are you saying? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, where's the party hole? Is a party hole? Yes, the party hole. You got it. What is that yeah. exactly? Can you explain what is that from? Oh, there's a room there, and there's a hole, and we're pur- yeah. we're supposed to take a look at inside the hole. Yeah. Uh, who yeah. do you speak to about that? Oh, was that guy there with the tattoos? It's like it's such a big hole. It's such a nice hole. He was sell- he had the flyers for Party Hole, twenty twenty three. No. Yes. Yes. Party Hole. Did you speak to someone in regards to that? We talked to the man with the tattoos on his on his body. He had a flyer that said Party Hole. Festivities tonight at the rooms, but he didn't put a room number. Don't don't oh, forget I his see. knuckles. On one hand said party, and on the other hand said hole. Don't forget that. Oh, and if you don't know the room number, I can't assist you because I don't know which guest are you referring to. It was a man with the muscles and the tattoos. There's a lot of guests here with muscles and tattoos. Very hard to. Yeah, and he point. had his tally whacker out. He wasn't wearing pants. Is that very hard to explain that? So oh, it's, it's very hard. It is hard, yeah. It's going to be hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what the party holds for. There was that salty sailor sailing down the street. The stadium? There was seven. Hello? Seven supplemental superpowers sexualized sunny delights. Hello, I can hardly hear. Can I ask and then yeah. Miriam be my wife? Okay. Okay. Oh, God, our Catholic, can we help you? Hey, um, I was wondering if you guys had the party hole in the room. What was that? 
we, uh, me and my wife, we, we want to get a room with the, the party hole. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Oh, yeah. Come here. Yeah, baby. Bring them saggy old flaps and put them over my face, baby. Yeah. Come on, over here. Come on, yeah, let me sniff it, old granny. Let me sniff that old granny action. Come on, over here. Bring that old Vaseline up over there. Yeah. Come on over here. Take a ride on the big old mustache. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, you smell very good. Put a little bit of baby, baby oil on your backside. Oh, yeah, we're going to go for a ride. Mm -hmm. oh. Where'd you go with there, Miriam? Oh, here's your diaper. Okay. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I'd like to reserve a room, please. Hello. <gasps> <laughs> That's how she told me. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hey. You talk to my grandson. Politely. On a garage sale or something. Does he got curds or do he Please sell a Please leave your message for Snappy. Junior. I got something for you. I got something what? for you, Snappy. What? God damn you! <laughs> Put that on the Instagram. Cool pool sound. Sniff your ass with that helper was, you know. It's like, okay, I got you. Well, hello. Hey, how Hi. you doing there, buddy? Buddy, old pal, how how you been there, long dick, bottle nose? Who is this? It's Dwight. I'm a criminal. Door. Okay. Yeah, D W I G H T, the criminal. I used to be a janitor, but I did some things with a mop. They're up. Yeah, yeah. So what are you what are you doing, honey baby? Hello? Hello, trying to reach Alan. This is him, who's this? Hey, this is Dwight. I'm calling from over here at Wendy's. Where where do you get the fucking balls to go on our social media and tell people to cancel to cancel the orders when they come here to pick it up for the deliveries? So the cancel? No, I said they should decline the order before they accept it. Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. But we we them. need these people to come pick up these orders that we prepared, you know. But they need to wait in line like everybody else. Well, no. Every every other restaurant in the world for delivery, like they. You can't make people that don't get paid for their time yeah. wait for an hour in the line. I mean, I mean, uh, the, what are you? What are you? The C, the, the, what are you? A CFO, CEO of Cocksuckers Anonymous? Like you know all the rules of the drive-throughs? Yeah, actually. Oh, You're okay. Right. Well, how how many dicks are you in charge of, sir? Uh, not enough. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> But now you listen. guys should just figure out a better system. That's all. No, no, now listen, because we got 18 bags sitting here where drivers were supposed to come through and get this shit, and because of the word of the mouth from you, now they sit here, that the food just, goes cold. That was that was just today, so yeah. I don't think I have about, that about big four, of an about, about four motherfucking hours ago. That's when the orders started getting left behind? Yeah, yeah, and you know why? Because some asshole named Alan got on the social medias. Said, hey, cancel from this location. Don't even go pick it up. And you know what? Now the food's a cold. And now, you know, we gotta, we're going to feed it to homeless bums outside. And they're going to get stale bread, stale burgers. And they're going to get the meat gristles. Well, I do, I do think, I know, I know you're angry with me. Yeah. I do think it would be good if you guys could come up with a system 
where delivery drivers didn't have to wait in line. All right, all right, all like, right. Well, here's here's the, the problem, si- here's the system. You're the banned. Problem is you guys, You're banned like, from this location. Is, okay. The problem is you guys closed the lobby. Yeah. Very busy we were. Hey, this was hey, in the middle of the day. Hey, can you tell that guy in the, can you tell that man in the background to, to just shut it, to shut the fuck up? Are you, are you the, are you the man, like, who are you? No, listen, no, I, I run drive through and I'm on my break right now, I'm in the back office right now, and I'm enjoying some fries, some fresh cut fries, and, like, like, this bullshit here, this bullshit, he's out there dealing with the line still, and this bullshit from you, bullshit. Yeah, how did you get my number? Out of curiosity. Yeah. What do you mean? How did we get the number? We we know all the delivery when you come through and you accept yeah. orders. Like he gives us all the information in case we got to contact you. You're right on our nice little tablet here. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. It does make sense. You know what doesn't make sense is you not doing your job. We commanded you to come pick up these orders and to take them out to the customer, and you're sitting here throwing a fit. Well, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. My job was being impeded, impeded upon. Um, what was your name, sir? My name is Dwight, and Dwight? I run the fries. Yeah, I run the fries. You want fresh fries? You want salt on your fries? You come to me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Did was that bitch in the drive-through with you too? Was that one in the background there, little chatty Kathy? I'm sorry. Are you talking about my wife? I I don't know. What what is it? Is it a man or a woman? It's it's a woman. Oh, is that fucking Melissa? The stupid fucking Melissa back there? Wait, who who is this? Listen, <laughs> it, all the information. The fucking Melissa Anderson with her bullshit maiden name back there fucking chatting. <laughs> Just all kinds of shit. Fucking yeah, Melissa Ann. Melissa A. Melissa A. Anderson. You Who do. You really? got a smoke. You got a smoker, Scott. My name is Dwight, and I run the fries. You run the fries, right? I do the. I do the fries. You sound. You sound really old to be a fry cook. Hey, it's a career, all right. I'm not in it for the short term. I'm in for the long haul. <laughs> like hey, I'm hey, 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 hey! No, look, I'm no, gonna listen, call listen. corporate. I'm gonna, gonna call ahead. corporate and try to get you. A, I want to try to get you a promotion. Like no, I don't want. I don't want any more responsibilities other than with the fries. I don't want anything. I don't want a pay raise. I don't want any more responsibilities. Are you I don't the want one? To tell people are you the one? Are you the one that make lock the door? So the no, they don't tr- no, they don't. No, they don't trust me with keys. No, they don't trust me with keys. <laughs> Ma'am, you. I don't mean to be mean, but you sound like the type of woman that colors her hair a lot. Sounds like hair dye has affected your brain function. I wish I need to get it done so bad. You hear you hear that, Alan? You need a you need a you need a fuck you need a fuck of her, Alan. You need a fuck of her. She says she needs it bad. You gotta fuck of her. You gotta fuck of her. Now wait a minute. Do you what? also work at an Asian restaurant? At an Asian restaurant? No, 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 no. We don't do we don't do. You remember? I don't know how old you are. Back in the day here at Wendy's, we used to actually have a taco bar. We used to have a, it was a salad slash taco bar. And you could come up and you could actually, make as many tacos. You you could do all of it. I actually saw that. I saw that in a documentary. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a true. It's a true story. I've been here quite a while. <laughs> I'm like a I'm like a connoisseur of every of everything Wendy's. A connoisseur. Did you did you did you yeah a connoisseur? Did you know that uh, that Wendy's the car- you know the uh, the mascot was actually used to be the founder of KFC. There was the uh, Colonel's granddaughter. And then he went and he took some of the recipes from KFC over to the Wendy's and the you know, nepotism. And then he's like, oh, look, my granddaughter's very cute, very nice. We'll make her the mascot. And then she started fucking Ronald McDonald when she became of age. No, I have no idea, actually. Yeah, well, that, that's, tr- that's true. That's true. You have, you, have no idea. you have no motherfucking idea. I don't. I don't. You don't? Huh? Wait, hey, no. hey, hey, honey, 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 honey. Uh, my, sorry, my wife's on the phone with the cops right now. What? Oh yeah, with the cop. What about the cops? Like, I've only got ten more minutes before my break's over, and I got to get back to it. But well, no, we why is she them, calling? Why we, is she calling the cops? Well, to let them know if they're hungry that you guys got like eight orders sitting there. No, nah, we don't serve pigs. 
We don't serve pigs. We keep the motherfuckers out of our keep her out of our face. This guy, you know what? You know what? I'll tell you your life story right now. You sound like you went into the military right out of high school because you couldn't hack it playing high school football, and then you went right into the military, and then you went pew pew for a few years. You this one you knocked up during your senior prom, and then she says she's like, oh, I'll, I'll wait for you while you go do pew pew in the military. And then when he when he got out, and you're like, hey, surprise, you've got a four-year-old. And he's like, shit, I've been deployed for five years. I don't know how this happened, but you must be right. There's my child. And then you, like, you're like you just raising this other man's child, and you're not smart enough because you're a jarhead. I was, I was a paratrooper, but outside of that, you're spot on. I'm uh, pretty really close. Oh, oh, okay, how, how many times has she had cheat on you? Oh, I don't, all, every woman I've ever been with, people. Right, well, they're unfaithful. Little, they're unfaithful harlots, is what they are. Well, no, it's not that. It's just, I don't, I don't bring a lot to the table. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, are you, are you like what? Your pecker small? What's the matter? No, 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 no. I just have like a shit. Guys, the buzzer's going <laughs> off. Pull the fries. Sorry, that the, the <laughs> fucking new guy out there. He doesn't know when it beeps. It beeps for the second time. You got to pull the fries. I, it don't matter. The delivery guys ain't gonna pick it up anyway. Not the delivery. These are for these are for the honest customers that actually come to the drive-through. They don't pre-order shit. They come right up here. They want to talk to us. They say hello. All right, listen, Dwight. Yeah. What is your uh, your real name? No, that's my name. My name is Dwight. I can give you an employee ID number Dwight. if you'd like. Well, I know you don't know me. God damn it. Hey, what's with? Do you have a picture of your Wait, wife what? eating? Do you have a shirt with a picture of your wife eating corn? No, that's my sister. Oh wait, yeah, no, there's yeah, yeah. There's, there's one there's of my wife. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you trying to tell me that your wife looks like your sister? That's <laughs> fucked up. Ooh, that's some that is some southern shit right there. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. That's fucking gross. Yeah, it is. I know. I I, I know. That's why I said... God, God damn it. It's like talking to a brick wall yeah. with you. Can you grab me another beer? Yeah. Another beer? Are you yeah. drinking and driving? How do you know we're driving? How do you know I'm driving? Because I can hear the wind. I have the fan you're, on. You're doing, you're doing DoorDash right now. God damn it. <laughs> You're riding around, she's giving you roadhead while you're transporting people's food. It was extra salty. Extra salty. Oh, 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 that's wrong. A a frosty should never look like, no, no, a frosty should never look like that. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go before you start dipping other things into the frosty, you sick. You're sick. I hate you. Goodbye. It's annoying now, though. Hi, happy days. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. How's it going, baby? Do you have a reservation? Uh-huh. Can I make a reservation? For today? Hello? Yeah, happy days. For today. I would like to make a reservation. Hello, happy day. I would like to make a reservation. Can I make a reservation with you, or do I need to speak to somebody else? Um, one moment. Oh, no, please, baby, don't patch me through. That exasperated sigh just really made me want to, like, deal with you primarily. I'm sorry. I I don't know if you're still listening, but you have that customer service edge. You know that... <laughs> That right, uh, je, ne, ex- je ne sais Who, quoi. Is somebody on the phone? Who's on the phone? Listen, huh. I gotta call my parole officer. I need the other line. Hello, happy days. Oh. Oh. I I I hate Wisconsin, but I love it. Yeah, hey, what's up? What's up, baby? How's it going? Is that still for sale? I believe you have the wrong number, sir. No, I don't. Is that still for sale, though? Like, Linda, listen. Uh, you're not hearing me, Linda. Uh, like, 
calling for Champs Cuisine? Because this is Champs Cuisine. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to place an order. Okay. Yes, uh, could I get order. one, um, yeah, could I get an order of Pol Pot, um, with the side of, uh, Tower of Skulls? And then could I also get, uh, some street urchin, uh, extra, extra well done? Uh, can you help, sir? That's good. Day three square, how can I help you? Hi. Hi, happy day. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, you take the phone, honey. Hi, yes, I'd like to place an order. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, could I get an order of... Yes, could I get an order of Pol Pot? Um, sorry, what was that? With a side of uh, our skulls, yes. Pol Pot? Pol Pot? Yes, Pol Pot. Um, can I also get a... Um, holiday in Cambodia, uh, on the side. Okay, uh, let me put you in a brief hold, okay? I'm sorry, say again in English? Okay, I'm gonna put you in a brief hold. Oh, no, please don't, please don't. It's just because I'm not sure what you're talking about, so I wanted to hand you over to the manager so they know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, put me on with the manager. Put me on with the manager. Okay, I'm gonna put you in a brief hold. Yes, please do. I'd really like to speak to a man, a juror. Are you talking to one of those restaurant whores again? Listen, I'm just trying to order Pol Pot for this fucking luncheon. Lunch in her ass. I know. I want to talk to a manager. There's no W-O in manager. That's one of my favorite things at Carlito. Um... <laughs> brought was uh Hello Happy Hi, happy days. I'd like to place an order. Um okay. the the woman the woman uh said that she couldn't help me and that I needed to speak to a manager, which okay. I'm glad to speak to a man. A man who can effectively get things done. Um yes, I'd like to place an order for um a pole pot and then um, can I Get a side of Tower of Souls and, um, let me see, a little bit of uh, street urchin on the side. Sure. Would that be it? I mean, how much would that run? And, like, how long would it take to get that? Uh, I think about 15, 20 minutes. All right, all right. Now, how do you cook the pole pot? Oh, uh, we put it in a pot. I mean, yeah, of course you put it in a pot, but, like, what seasonings do you add to the pull pot? I'm sorry, I have a... Hello? What, what do you call it? I'm sorry, hello? If you... Don't a dog. What? You stole a dog. Um, I, I stole the dog? How do you know all this information if you didn't take the dog? Maybe we'll get her back. Because you have her in a storage unit. You have a dog in a storage unit? Well, you're right, it doesn't, but you stole a dog. I thought like oh, stealing I somebody's dog. child. Stole a dog. You're fucking really smart. You're really yeah. smart. Okay, well, why don't you re- just return the dog to the proper owner? We already we already did. Why don't you go to the shelter and go get a dog? We already returned the dog. Yeah, well, I picture you as a fucking child molester. Is Dwight there? Uh, the proper thing to do is to call the number that was on the card. The number on the card? We don't have a card. I wish I knew where your fucking fat ass lives. How's your, how's your tooth doing? I said nothing about your fucking dick, you fuck face. How's your tooth doing? Why are you calling me? 
Why'd you answer? We all want the dog back. You got nothing better to do on a Friday night? You're, you really seriously are mentally ill. But, but I miss you. <laughs> Love you, boo. So, is this what you do? You go around stealing people's dogs? I do. Oh yeah, you're right. You gotta, you gotta break the window, or it's gonna get overheated. How do you know this? Because you're notorious for leaving dogs in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was just telling you, if you break the window before you go into the store, the dog won't get hot. I don't give a fuck. Go tell him that. Good. Go right ahead. <laughs> what are, What are you wearing? Yeah. What are, What are you wearing? You. It It doesn't matter because we can't hear you with your clothes on. Yeah. Now my mom's chiming in. Your Your mom chiming in? You talk shit about my mom. I will find where you live, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where your lips have been. Probably on your brother's dick. <laughs> My mom's lips aren't wrinkly, bitch. <laughs> because you're mentally retarded. Not very nice to call me out my mental disabilities. You shut the fuck up. You don't talk to my mom like that. I was talking to your mom. I'm talking to you. Uh, we know you're lying. But I'm not. You need some Xanax. I need what? You're stupid. What am I? Oh, yeah. You're right. What? Oh, yeah. You're right. What? But what do I need? Don't tell anybody. Hello? Uh... Hello? Okay, you motherfucker. You're good. Hello? Yeah, you can shove that recorded line up your ass. Hello? Yeah, you can suck your exclusive offers. And how tight she was. We're not talking to a real person. I know. I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Hello? I didn't ever say that in this conversation because you're sick in the head. So when can you return the dog? Restaurants, but I got hotels. And stuff. Hi, I'm looking to spank bang bong. Oh. I'm so sorry. Hello, sir. half a day. Hi. Half a day. Half a day. Hello. Yes, hi. Hi. How can I assist you, sir? I need I need food. You need food? Yeah. Um I'm so sorry, sir. What do you mean by you need food with this were you I for uh, a I knew. restaurant or Yeah, I need food. Yes. What kind of well, food? I'm are looking you for a long. I'm looking for a long duck dick. Okay, one moment, please. Oh, you have? You have? I love to drink that pussy kiss. Half a day, thank you for calling Guam Plaza. How may I assist you? Yeah, happy yeah, day. yeah. Oh, happy day. Hello? Hi, happy days. I'd like to make a reservation. Uh, for the room or for the room? Uh, for the room. For the room, yes, sir. 
I mean, yeah, what you said there. Yes, I'd like to make one of those. Uh, happy day. Happy day. <laughs> so, do you have any questions? Yes, I'd like to make a reservation. Mhm. Mm to the room. Yes, to the room. I I don't know what else we're speaking of. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna be transferred to the room reservation. So okay. Wait, 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 wait. What's your name? Yeah, uh, Vicky. Nikki. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Nikki. Please pass me through. I'd appreciate it. You've done a great job, Nikki. Good job. All right. All right. Good. Good. You. Good job, Nikki. I like you're a credit to your race. Your coconut okay. head race. Okay. So, how I can help you, sir? Yes, I'd like to make a reservation. Make a reservation for the room, right? Yes, for the room, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then Number there's a there's a cheaper way you can do online. No, 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 no. I like to do it in, on the phone because I'm a man. I'm a man, and money is no object. Oh. I'm so Jason David Frank. I'm a hero to millions. I don't know if you know this. I was on the Power Rangers. Yeah, I know. So I'm now handle for the room reservations. And if you want to make a reservation for the room, I can transfer to the room reservation. Well, like. Can can I? I mean, like Nikki, Nikki. Yes. Can you help me out here? You're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Yeah, Nikki. I'm sure if we can get a roof, a roof reservation. She said Nikki, roof. can I get a roof reservation? I'm James David Frank. I'm a hero to millions. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. I'm kind of a big deal. Uh, I I'm, I'm not sure that. Have you ever seen the Power Rangers? I'm like the I'm the Green Ranger. I'm the White Power Ranger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Morphin Time. You know? Uh-huh. You remember that? You remember yeah. that from childhood or are you too young? You were born in the 2000s, weren't you? You didn't grow up in my time period where I was like martial arting all over the place. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, but yeah, if you could uh, if you could make a reservation for me, Nikki, I know that you want to transfer me, but listen, Nikki, I know you can make it work, and I'll slide you in a little bit of extra money on the side, you know, because you're doing good work, Nikki. Like, like, I mean, yeah, you're good, and you look super nice in the in that like in that uniform you're wearing. Like, let's be honest. Ask if she'll move to the left a little bit. I want to see her better. Yeah, yeah. Can you move a little bit to the left? Yes. Mm. Sorry, sorry. If you want to make a reservation for the room, I cannot handle that. Well, Nikki, Nikki, can you put can me on with, uh, can, can you put me on with somebody who can help? Hello? It's more for time. Oh, look, she's she's wearing open toe shoes. Hi, yes. Oh, look at her toes. Uh, is this uh, the reservations? I can transfer you to room reservations. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to Nikki? You're not Nikki. I was speaking to Nikki. What's your name? This girl's fat. She ate her. No. Okay, bye. No. Hello? Hi. Is that, is Hello? that uh, Scott? Is that Scott? Or is this Rich? Scotty? Hey, Scotty. I'm calling from over here, Bright Speed Internet. Uh understand you opened a ticket with us about our internet issues that you've been having recently. Yeah, but it's twelve thirty at night. <laughs> All right. Well yeah, that well that's when uh when that's when the internet, the bandwidth clears up here at the call center and we're able to make outgoing calls because we run on Bright Speed Internet as well. Uh huh. So we we were just trying to, to touch to touch base with you and see if we can we can we can figure out your problems. Well, right now I'm not really caring if I got one or not because I was asleep. But we're well, supposed well, to have. Well, you're a, you're you're awake now. 
Yeah, but not for long. <laughs> All right. Well, you, you'll stay up as long I mean, as you, you'll stay up as long you'll stay up as long as I command you to while we take care of this issue. Because I don't want to go through this again. Double Tree Morovo, Devin Speaker. How am I help you? Hi. Can I be transferred to Jennifer Carpenter's room? One moment. Thank you. Do you happen to know the room number, sir? I don't. I don't. Uh, it's for Jennifer Carpenter. Um, she she told me to like this is the best place to to reach her. Um, so so without you providing me with information, I'm not able to transfer you to any particular room in the hotel. You have to actually let me know what the <laughs> room is, what the person is for their privacy. I'm I'm watching her, I'm watching there. her children. Yeah. Like, I mean, I get it. I'm watching her children, though. I don't know the room number, and I can't reach her otherwise. Can you please just pass me through? Um, I'm not able to do that, sir. (sighs) Like, you're killing me here. Her kid is going to anaphylactic shock right now. Listen, listen, what I'm trying to say to you, I I can't even verify that the person's even in the hotel. You're just, you're assuming that the person's even in the hotel. Yeah, Jennifer Carpenter. Yeah, she's there. I don't have anybody oh. by that name, sir. So Jesus unless you Christ. provide me with a room right. number. Well, I yeah. Pre- yeah, I mean, I don't know that, but I appreciate your help, uh, Esteban. Okay. Um, you have a you have a great night. Thank bye, you. Bye. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Double Tree Morovo, Devin Speaker. I'm Alfie. All right. Did you say your name was Devin? Yes, it is. Hey, how you doing there? Oh, I'm trying right. to reach my brother's room. Uh, is there any way that I could be transferred? Um, so oh, you would just need to know the room number and the name that's associated with the room number? Well, I can give you the name associated. He didn't have a room assigned when he left the house. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be able to transfer you uh, for the privacy of the guest. So you have to give me that information for me to transfer you to the call. Sure. The last name is Hall. First name is Mike. Yeah, I, for that situation, I would have to be presented with the room number two. So you you have to actually contact that person on their cell phone to give you permission. Well, I I right right I understand that, and I've been trying that. I actually would rather speak to him on his cell phone rather than having to go through like sixteen different steps to get to him. Unfortunately, it's going straight to voicemail, and he's got uh, one of his uh, managers. They're calling here because there's been a schedule change for the Comic Con that he's attending currently. Um, and if we don't get a hold of him, the time change in the morning is exactly. gonna so, he's gonna be late. So if you can give me your number and uh, if I reach that individual, I will have them contact you. Sure, I can do that. Just let me know when you've got a telephone or I'm sorry, I'm ready. Not a got I'm a ready. pen ready. I, I right. am ready. It, it oh uh, or, okay. Uh it is seven three eight. Mm-hmm. Oh wait a minute, that's that's the old number. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me just a second here. No, no, that's not it. Uh, let's see here. Do you want my number or do you want the manager's? I'm sorry, the, his uh, manager. The number that he needs to con- the number that you would like him to contact, and the name oh, of the person okay, that he okay, needs okay. to be contacting. Great, great, great. Yeah, what he'll want to do is he's going to have to contact Lula, L U L A, and the last name is Smith. And he would know what this is in, in the, the reference to. Yeah, yeah, that's his manager. Okay. And he'll want to call so he knows 406. So he knows his manager's right, number. Let me get, let me, right, but if his cell phone's not working, because like I said, it's going directly to voicemail, okay. uh, I want to make sure that he's at least got it written down if he can't access that cell phone. Okay. So it's 406 mm-hmm. 545-0459. So that's 545? Yep, 545-0459. Okay. I'll, if and I'm so, going to rate him, I will have him give uh, Ms. Smith a call. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. You. you have a good day. Uh-huh. You too. Bye. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Your fucking ass, coward. Who runs this fucking mouth like a bitch? Who's this? No one gives a fuck what you think. Who the fuck are you, bro? No, I was just curious who called my phone, that's all. No, shut up! Okay, good night, bro. 
I am trying to live. Hi, this is Tessa at the front desk. Can we assist you? Hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm fine. How can I help you? Uh, not bad. I, well, I'm trying to reach my brother. He's currently uh, staying there as a guest, and I'd like to be transferred to his room if I could, please. Do you have his room number? I don't. He didn't have one assigned when he left, and I've been unable to reach him since he's left. What's the last name? The last name is Shepard. S H E P P A R D. First name? Mark. And he's staying at this hotel? Uh, correct. Yeah, yeah. He, he'll only stay with you guys. He's very particular. Okay, so there are a couple of Hyatt's in Chicago. Um, do you have a confirmation uh-huh. number that I can search for? Uh, I, I don't. Again, he, he didn't have a room assigned, and I wouldn't have the confirmation. I mean, the confirmation number would obviously be with him uh, in case he needed it. Um, I, I, I don't have it. I'm, I'm just back here with our mom and dad. Um, well, dad's here right now. William. William's here. Uh, but his but his wife, Sarah, uh, that's that's my sister-in-law. She asked for me to call, too, as well. Okay, um, so the reason I'm asking Dad to And also his ex-wife, Jessica, that he was married for about 10 years from 04 to 14, uh, she was concerned, too. So we need to make a call. So the reason why I was asking if you had a confirmation number or if it was this hotel is because I'm not finding anyone in our res- uh, um, hotel with the name Mark. Okay, so nobody named, named Mark at all. What about Shepard? Um, so nothing popped up for that name either. Okay, he he would have been ru- he would have been running around. Uh, he he would have told you pro- probably goes on the name Crowley. He would have told you he's the he's the crossroad the king of the crossroads, and then also he was the king of hell at some point. What would have been the first name for Crowley? Uh, for Crowley, Mark Mark Crowley. Um, again, there was no name popping up with Mark. Oh, okay, he might be staying with Alistair. Lucifer might have stopped by. How do you spell Alistair? A L A L I S T E R. Alistair. I mean, it's phonetic. What's the last name of that individual? Lucifer. Uh, Crowley. E R O W L Y or L E Y. I'm. Wait a minute, Mark. Mark, is this you? Mark. I'm sorry. Are you still at the Mark? Are you still at the house? Wait, no. I mean, uh, Mark. Are, no, I, are you on the extension? Excuse me, sir. I, I am. Hello. You, yes. You're she supposed was, to be in Chicago right now. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you need any? Like, I'm sorry. What, do you, you need any? Where are you? Are you? Yeah. Hang on uh, just a second, ma'am. Are you in the house? Where are you, Mark? I am. I am. I just woke up. I like I. There's a needle in my arm, and I have no idea. Why. Are you in the dungeon still? I, listen. After the the prostitutes left, I like don't know what happened, but I have this needle in my arm, and I'm not sure if it's ketamine or heroin. I all I know is I just woke up, it's and both. it's both. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah. oh man. Do you want me I'm to ask this? Be in the city, like yeah, you are. Comic Con, like Ma- the- ma'am. Do you know any type of nursing? Like any any type of nursing? Can you take pulses? I'm not a nurse. Move the needle out of an arm. Uh, I'm, yeah, not- I'm just I'm like so strung out. I took like a whole bunch of acid and and I got like pegged by these strippers that I like Mark, 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 it's, it's perfect though. She's not a nurse, so she doesn't have mandatory reporting. So oh, that'd be perfect. True. Yeah. So like I got pegged by all these girls <laughs> that I like and, on the phone anymore. Wait, no, they put a bunch of ketamine in my veins, uh, you know, to loosen up my holes. And uh, let's just say I gape. Ma'am, ma'am, he has a whole he has a whole stable of pet alcoholics down here, but he won't let them go. He won't let them graze. Yeah, I, I don't. Know. They're my stable whores, you know. Like I milk them. 
He took that song "Beer for My Horses" very, very seriously. And yeah. He, pour, he pours like a whole, a whole bunch of beer right into the into the trough, and then he lets his boys go and drink. Yeah. I, uh, my favorite song is "Goodbye Horses" by Q Lazarus, as made famous in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, an old horse road, old whore road. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? My hole's like, it's, hey. Yeah, your hole's not going to heal if you keep playing with it. Mark. Come on. Uh, I, I'm just. I, uh, hey, are uh, you guys okay? Yeah, he has, a need, he has a needle. He has a needle in his vein. Yeah, I don't know what uh, this needle, like, where this came and, from. And where are you at? I'm in the basement. And like I got, uh, I got like pegged real hard by like these like hot, hot strippers I met at a uh, fucking screaming rhino, you know? Yeah, they were, and, they, and, were, they, were they were playing they were playing ketamine darts with needles, and he lost. I lost, and like I just okay. woke up. I'm supposed to be here. Like I'm supposed to like be in attendance at Comic Con and I just woke up and I uh, like listen like I, I took a whole bunch of acid too I don't really know what's going on but I need to like get into my hotel room pretty quick here um, where if any, where are you at now if I could have I'm in the dungeon the dungeon we don't have a dungeon here well, no, no, I'm at, I'm at my house in the dungeon, Bone Throne. Okay, all right. Uh, sir, okay, so I, sir, I'm I, his manager. He, I'm his brother manager. He's supposed to be there for the Comic-Con right now. What's the access okay. code for your teleporter? Yeah, what's the access code? <laughs> uh, it sounds like you need an Uber, man. I mean... Yeah, like I gotta, I gotta like fucking put my pants on and like get over there. Can I like have the escort me in my room? Like I'm running late. Yeah, sure. And hold, hold on, a moment. Let me get you to somebody that can help you. Okay. Visitors will discover a visit array of international cuisines, hotels, and resorts. To provide excellence and service, your call may be monitored and/or recorded. Protecting your privacy so is important. Sure, uh, someone try and get the. Uh, uh, this is another. Thank you for calling the Innovative Mayor Marky Chicago. I'm assist you. Hey, I need to speak to Mark. I gotta get. I gotta get to his room. It's it's urgent. It's about a roll. Um, Mark. May I ask who's Mark? Yeah, last name is Shepherd. Okay, one moment. All right. Do you know what room he's in? I don't. He didn't have one assigned before he left the house. He just said to call. He's like, he's like, you need to get a hold of me. He said, just give, just call the front desk. Just <laughs> drop my name. They'll know who I am. I'm very important. Can you um spell his last name for me? Yep, S H E P P A R D. You said H R P P. S H E P P A R D. That name is not pulling up. Can you be on a different name? It's not as. He he, pro- he probably could because when he travels, he likes to not let it. He like he plays little games with his wife. 
he doesn't tell her. Well, I don't know if it's games, but he's just like he doesn't tell her what hotel he's going to. And I think mm-hmm. that's on purpose because he he has a tendency because he was doing roles for quite a while where he was playing evil characters, and so like it kind of sank into his real life, and he started doing cult cult like stuff activities while he's been away. Okay, do you know the, the name that he will be under? Because I'm not finding it under. Yeah, I I just want to let you know. I don't know if this affects you at all, but he is into uh in, into African American women that have an attitude problem to wear open toe shoes that have pretty toes. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know if you wear. Do you wear open toes? No, I do not. Open toe shoes. Okay, do no. you have pretty toes? How many hot dogs could you fit between your toes? It was like... Yeah. Have a day, Guam. How can I help you? Have a day. How are you doing Hello? today, honey? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. How can I help you? I'm looking for a room where the organs can roam free. You know room? what is the organ? Yeah. Uh, Hello? Hi, yeah, I'm playing with my organ in my room. You're what, man? I'm playing with my organ. You're playing with your organ? Yeah! Can you hear my organ? No. It's going me, 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 me. How can I help you? It goes me, 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 me. Mom, Mom, how can I help you? We're very busy. It goes me, me. It goes me, me. It goes me, me, me. Me, me, me. I can find. Hoppity, thank you for calling PIC Guam. How may I direct your call? What Happy is, day. What does PAC stand for? Yeah, what's PAC? I'm calling. I'm an American. I'd like to make a reservation for a one man and two dogs. She just dog. She just gurgle. Yeah, for did your fat neck just release air and then bubble? Yeah, I want a room. I'm Jason Dave Frank. Do you remember the Power Rangers? Because I was a hero to millions. That was the white Power Ranger, and I was the green Power Ranger. That sounded fucking racist for a second. Wait, like, oh, shit. That does sound racist. The white no, Power it, Ranger? Well, it's, oh, it's the white Ranger, not white Power Ranger. But man, if you say white Power Ranger, that sounds like super white supremacist. That's not cool, man. It's hey, more for time. Way. Hey, Kat, you dated, you, Kat, you dated that white Power Ranger, Ranger the for a while, didn't you? Wait. I'm Jason David Frank. I'm a hero to millions. Even suicide can't keep me down. What are you chewing on? You chewing the cut over there? What's Steve, that? What? Steven. It's uh, hot. It's hot. Coconut head. Yes, Love it is. chewing cut. Yay. Half day, thank you for calling Fresh Reservation. This is Sam speaking. How may I assist you? Hi, asshole. Hello? Hi, Tim. Yes? Hello? Tim, happy days. I'd like to make a reservation. For which date you want? Uh, For like two weeks from now, a fortnight from now. Are you a Guam resident? Uh, no, I'm traveling. I'm traveling. I'm a, a part of a cultural attaché. I'm traveling from the base, but I can't stay on the base for privacy and security reasons. Are you a military? Uh, y- yes. I'm a private contractor, but I don't need to go into too much uh, more detail than that for, you know, security's sake. Oh, okay. the, the less you know, the better. Okay, one moment, please. 
Well, can I just make a reservation? Ugh. These goddamn coconut heads and their bureaucracy and fucking... And he's a fucking spy, can't even make a reservation under a pseudonym like Indian. It's a tongue-in-cheek joke about an Indian reservation. God. Man, I'm getting too old for the spy game. No Country for Old Men. That's a novel by Cormac McCarthy. I haven't read it, but it's got it's got uh, uh, David Lee Ross as the actor in it. You remember when we like no, got the... Hi, happy days. Okay. I'd like to make a reservation. Hey, happy days. I'd like to make a reservation. Will this be for room or restaurant? Uh, it's for a room. I'd like to make a reservation for a room. Okay, one moment. Please let me go ahead and transfer your call to our room reservation. Uh, wait, can I make a reservation for the, the restaurant, too? I'm hungry. I just flew in. Uh, jet lag is killing me, and I want to eat some food. Can I make a reservation for the restaurant, quick? Before I make hotel um, room number ones? So I can go ahead and assist you with the restaurant reservation. However, they're not open. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, no, I mean, I get it. I, uh, like, I'm fine with that. I just want to, like, eat in a nice, like, place. Like, I just flew in from America, and I'm sick of McDonald's. And I'm sick of the judgment, like, from everyone looking at me, just going, ew, you're a great big fat person. And I'm like, I'm just trying to eat my... My Big Mac in peace. And I just want to, like, have, like, a little bit of, like, respect and just eat. Is there a place in the restaurant you can put me in the corner so I don't have to, like, look at the judging eyes of the the Guamian peers or the the people? Like, is it mostly, like, uh, tourists that eat there or is it, like, Guamian people? It's actually um, a mixture Oh, um, of, okay. Yeah, I mean, are the are the the Guamians? Uh, are they like? Are they pretty like judgmental? I'm mean, I'm kind of a big person. I'm like six hundred pounds. Have you seen that movie, The Whale, with Brandon Fraser? Um, I don't think so, sir. Oh no, you probably haven't. Then, if you don't remember it, but uh, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a great big fat person, and I just don't want like the the Guamians to be like, uh, uh, that's a great big fat person trying to eat food because I get that all the time in America, and I I saved up a bunch of money to like get away, and I got these really nice Hawaiian shirts to wear while I'm out on the beach. And I'm a I I'm a government contractor. It's okay. I mean, it's part of life, you know. Like we live the life we love, and and all that. And you know, like sometimes we eat to fill the void because that's all we can do sometimes. Because our you know fathers aren't gonna like be there for us, especially since he died. I'm, so I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. What? What's your name? I, I feel like I'm unloading a lot of like personal things, and you're just a peach for like <sighs> putting up with it. Uh, my name is Jason David Frank. Um, my name is Angel, sir. So, um, I can go ahead and assist you with the reservation for tonight if you'd like. Um, unfortunately, yeah, like um, that. we only have. Mm-hmm. We only have our Niji restaurant available. That would be a Japanese restaurant, and it's a buffet restaurant. Would you like? Oh, that's to fine. Book is, that restaurant? Is there, yeah, that would be great. Is there like a a seat I can have that's like in the corner where I don't have to look at the judgmental eyes of like other I, patrons? I can go ahead and make a request. Um, for a corner seat. Um, yeah. However, um, I great. cannot guarantee it. Because I might weep. I might weep like pretty uncontrollably at points. Like I'm, I'm a pretty like loud sobber, and I'll try to muffle it with my napkin. But I don't know. I, I can be a blubbery mess. 
I, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, Angel. Dealing with a lot of things. Kind of coping with a lot of problems. My wife just left me. And, uh, and like, I don't know what to do. I just spent a bunch of money on these Hawaiian shirts and a ticket to Guam. And I just, I just need to get away, like, because I don't know what else to do. But part of me just wants to, like, get a surfboard and just, like, paddle out, you know, as far as I can. And just hope a shark gets me, because... I don't know what else I can live for, but but yeah, I'd like to make a, a reservation for the Japanese all you can eat. Do you guys have um, miso soup? And, yes, we do, sir. You and guys have you, wanna, you guys um, have like you guys have squid salad. Mm. Um, that one I'm not too sure, sir. It's actually a you guys have street urchin. Which one, sir? You guys have street urchin. Street urchin, it's like um, one of my favorite like sushi things. Street urchin? Um, not too sure, sir. It's actually upon availability on whatever they have, but I just do know in general um, they do have a sushi counter, sashimi counter, and then they have the tapanyaki ooh, yeah. counter. Mm, and um, mm. what time will you be arriving, sir? Um, they are open at oh, six right o'clock. Oh, right when they open at six o'clock. I'll okay. be there. I'll be there right at six o'clock. I like you can tell it's me because I'm just I'm gonna be that great big fat person, just like chomping at the bit, ready to like just fucking go to town on sushi and like get my money's worth on the buffet. Cause I gotta fill the void. I gotta fill the void somehow, and it's better than heroin, I guess. You know, but I mean, uh, I'm probably gonna have a heart attack either way, so <sighs> might as well live it up and, and like enjoy the beach, right? Right, Angel. Yes, sir. Um, may I go ahead. So, um, first name is Jason, sir. Correct, if I'm not mistaken. May I go ahead and get your last yep. name. Yeah, it's David Frank. And may I get a David, contact information, sir? Yeah, my my phone number is uh, area code um, 414. Because mm -hmm. the mainland number. Um, uh, sorry, one second. It's... Uh, Oh God! I'm oh, sorry. I just flew in. And I'm really exhausted. Four one four two two three 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 two one. Okay, sir. Um, and this is for tonight for one person at six o'clock at Beachy. Yeah. All right. So I mean, I uh, make like, unless I find somebody else to come with me, you know? I mean, is it is it, like, flexible if I, like, find the love of my life, like, on the way there? Can, is, um, is there room for one more? Fine, one? Sir. Yes, sir, that should be fine. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so I went ahead and made a reservation for you, mm. and I can go ahead and transfer you to a room reservation, mm. sir, so he, they can go ahead and assist you with um, your accommodation. I appreciate it, Angel. You've been a peach or um, a coconut or whatever indigenous fruits and sweet things you have here in this in Gwaim. All right, thank you so much for calling, sir. Um, one one moment while I transfer your call. Thank you, Angel. You're here to millions, like me. I'm Jason Frank. You're welcome, sir. One moment. Thank you for calling Hyatt Regency Guam. We have reached room reservations. Please press one for English. Press two for Korean. Press three for Japanese. Thank you.